welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, want you to come and play. Meeting all the friends we cook for, sharing stories, trips and fun. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook for everyone. OK, they're ready, Small. You start them off. OK. Ready, steady, oh, hello. <laughs> hello, everyone. Welcome to our cafe, the best cafe in the world. We're having swimming races with our toys. Look. <laughs> they have to get from one end of the tank to the other. Which one do you think will win, the frog or the fish? We'll soon find out. Are you ready? Are you steady? Go! Oh, 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 which one? Go. The oh. fish is winning, small. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh, the frog got there first. Hooray! Oh, brilliant! Oh, I wonder why these toys float small. You'd think they'd sink to the bottom of the tank. Hmm. I know, Ben. Why don't we put some more things in the water to see if they float or sink? <laughs> okay then, small. We'll try this apple. What do you think? Float or sink? <laughs> I think sink. Or will it float, Ben? Let's see. Oh, it floats! Oh, I was sure it would sink. Oh, hey, Ben, why don't you try this cork? What do you think? Float or sink? Thanks, Small. I think sink. Oh, wrong again. It floats. It's funny, isn't it? All our toys float. We must have something that sinks. Hmm. Oh, come on, Small. We've got a customer. Better see who it is. I'm on my way. Woohoo! <laughs> Who's our customer today, Small? It's Dorothy the Diver, Ben. Oh, Dorothy the diver who swims under the sea? Yes. Divers sink, don't they? I wonder how they stay down there for so long. I know the answer to that. I've got a story about a diver in my book. I think it's time to look in my book. We need a story to help us cook. Let's take a look in Little Cook's book. Little Cook's Adventures in the Big World. Let me see. Here we are, Adventures Under the Sea. I have a friend, Dorothy, who's a diver. She travels all over the world to swim under the sea and to learn about the fish and plants that live there. She wears a special suit and helmet which allow her to breathe. The undersea world is a beautiful place full of wonderful colors and surprises and I love to hear about Dorothy's adventures. One day, I got a letter from Dorothy. It said, I've got a question for you. Where can you find a bumblebee, a clown, a zebra and a rainbow that can all swim? If you can tell me the answer, I will take you on an adventure. I thought hard about this question. A bumblebee, a clown, a zebra and a rainbow that can all swim? I thought a zebra might be able to swim, and I was sure some clowns could swim. But a bumblebee can't swim, can it? And a rainbow belongs in the sky, not in the water. Then I had an idea. When I met Dorothy, I said, I think I know the answer to your question. I think you find a bumblebee, a clown, a zebra and a rainbow in the sea. They're all different kinds of fish. Well done, little cook, she said. You're right. And now, let's go on our adventure. We travelled to a place where the weather was hot and the sea was very warm and we went diving. The undersea world sparkled as the sun shone through the water and there, in this magical place, I saw a bumblebee fish, a funny clown fish, a stripy zebra fish and a beautiful shimmering rainbow fish. I'd solved the puzzle. Little Cook to the rescue once again! 
That was a great adventure. Oh, I wish I could go on an adventure like that small. Way! Well, maybe we could make an undersea world in our tank. Great idea. Now we need to think of what to cook for Dorothy the Diver. Hey, maybe it could be something to do with the sea. Hmm. Ooh. Oh, we got... Oh. <gasps> I know. Big Cook's Big Cookery Book. Of course, the Big Cookery Book. There's recipes for everything in there. And where do we look for things to cook? In the book. In the book. In Big Cook's Book. Oh, yes, here it is. The very thing for a diver's lunch. Shark samosas. Wow! Sharks are big fish that live in the sea. Come on, Small. You read out the ingredients and I'll see if we've got them. OK, let's see. We're going to need rice. OK, over to the cupboard. In we go. Rice. Got that, Small. Turmeric. Turmeric. Oh, yes, all yellow. Got it. And olive. Olives. Yep, got those. Soft cheese. Soft cheese over in the fridge. There we are. Lovely and creamy. Soft cheese. Cucumber. Cucumber. Nice and green. Got the cucumber. And samosas. Oh, yes. In here. Spicy samosas. Great. There. Everything we need for shark samosas. I love samosas. They're spicy and delicious. I wonder how they're made. Hey. Why don't you whiz off and find out, little cook, and I'll get everything ready. That's a great idea, Ben. I'll be back in a jiffy. Woohoo! Hey, why don't you come along too? Vroom! Go small, go small, whiz away! I wonder what he'll see today. Oh, yes, this is the right place. This man is cooking an Indian dish called samosas. First of all, he has to chop up some potatoes. Now to add all the herbs and spices. These are used a lot in Indian cooking. In it goes. That's all the ingredients. Now it has to be cooked. A grown-up helper must turn the cooker on. Ooh, stir it all around so it all gets cooked. Yummy, yummy! To make a samosa, the pancake has to be made into a little pocket. It is held together with a special sticky flour mix. There's the pocket, and in goes the vegetables and spices. Ooh, some more sticky flour mixed to hold the pocket together. It's nearly ready to eat. It's just got to be cooked again now. Aha! Sizzle, sizzle, sizzle in the frying pan! When they've cooled down, they are ready to eat. Wow! Don't they look good? He's really enjoying his samosa. 
Samosas are yummy. Bye. Ah, <sighs> I wish I could make an undersea world in our tank. Way! I'm back. I met a lovely family, Ben, and they taught me how to make samosas. <laughs> So, is everything ready for the recipe? Everything ready and ready to go, Small. Let's get going. We're all ready, so take a look. And we will show you how to cook. <laughs> Jelly boats and pirates gold, princess pea pies, carrot cakes and fruity smiles, and envelope surprise. We love our cafe and we love to cook. We have a fantastic recipe book. Cook and he is small. Friends in our cafe, we cook for them all. When your tummy gets all rumbly, you're ready for a treat. You can make something delicious to eat. Have you cleaned the surfaces? Yes. Have you washed your hands? Yes. All, all clean, clean and, and ready, ready to, to cook. cook. Do you remember the ingredients to shark samosas? You do. There was rice. Half a cup. Turmeric. One teaspoon. An olive. One. Cut in half. Soft cheese. One teaspoon. Cucumber. Half. And samosas. Two. Whoopee! Let's get started! <laughs> now you'll need to get your grown-up helper to do this first job for you because it's a hob job. And the hob is hot, hot, hot. So. I've put some rice into a saucepan, added some water, and now I'm going to turn on the heat and pour in the turmeric. There we are. I'll give it a bit of a stir. Now this turmeric is going to make the rice turn yellow. There we go. And now I'm going to pop the lid on and let it boil for 15 minutes. I'll set the timer for 15 minutes. What do we do while we're waiting, Ben? Well, well, there's plenty to do while we're waiting, Small. Like be a fish? <laughs> boop, 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 boop. I'm a fish, I'm a fish, and I go swish, swish. <laughs> <laughs> yes, like be a fish. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Now, I've cut this cucumber in half and then in half again. Now, you can put this piece back in the fridge, because we don't need that part. But this one, we need for the recipe. Look, Ben, I've made some lemon peel into a fish shape. Swish, swish, like my fish. <laughs> hey, I've just had an idea. I'm going to make lots of different coloured fish. The rice is cooked and cooled now. Just look how yellow it is. Way, look at these. I've made a yellow fish out of lemon peel, an orange fish out of carrot, <laughs> and a red fish out of a piece of red pepper. Dorothy will love these. Here we go, then. Now I'm going to spoon the rice in between the two pieces of cucumber. Nice spoonful there. And pop it in the middle. And another one. There we go. And a little more, I think. There. And now we push the two pieces of cucumber together to make a nice, sharky shape. Just like that. Shall I put these on the plate now? Good idea, Small. OK. The red one there. The yellow one there. And the orange one, there. <laughs> Let's see. Ooh, hey. One there, one there, and one there. Oh, they look brilliant, Small. Thanks, Ben. What shall I do next? Well, can you read out the rest of the recipe for me, please? OK. Put a samosa on the top of the shark to look like a fin. OK. One on the top. Then put the other samosa on the back of the shark to look like a tail fin. All 
right. There we are. And last of all, the shark's eyes. Put a bit of cream cheese on the olive halves. Then stick them to the shark's head. One there. And the other one. There. Finished! Oh, ho ho! It looks great, doesn't it? I love this recipe. <laughs> I wonder what our diver will think of it. Let's see then. One shark samosa coming through. There, all done. So what do we do now? Can we play? Not yet. Time to clean and put away. Hooray! Wash, wipe, scrub and clean Make the kitchen sparkle and gleam My name's Ben And my name's Small We've got the cleanest kitchen of all Tidy all the bits and bobs The things that help us do our jobs Ingredients we'll put away Ready for use another day Pots and pans will start to smell If we don't wash them really well And now it's clear, let's all smile We'll be finished in a little while All around, up and down We've got the cleanest cafe in town Aha! Here comes the plate! Oh, yes. And Dorothy the diver has left a note. Well, what does it say? What does it say? Let's see, shall we? It says, Dear Big Cook Ben and Little Cook Small, Thank you for my yummy shark samosa. <laughs> In return, here's something to help make your tank into an underwater world. Small. It's a china fish, a rock and a diver. How lovely. Hey, Small, let's put the fish into the water and see if it floats or sinks. What do you think? There's only one way to find out. Let's see. Oh, ho ho! <laughs> Look, it sinks. There it is, under the water. <laughs> now let's try the rock. Will it float? Or will it sink? What do you think? Ho, 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 ho. That sinks as well, Small. <laughs> and last but not least, the diver. Float or sink? I think sink. The diver will have to sink to see the beautiful things in the underwater world. Ho, ho, <laughs> yes. You're right, Small. And what fun we've had today playing our floating and sinking game. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> See you soon. See you soon. Oh. <laughs> Big cook, little cook, welcome to our cafe. Big cook, little cook, we'll cook forever.